we can easily import an existing project to the STS. First we should select File and then we should select Import. Here we can find the general topic with the existing projects into workspace option. Let's select this option, press next. Here we should place the path to the folder, to the directory where um, uh, we can find the uh, directory of the project we want to import. So. this specific folder and here I have uh, the mathematical base bin project folder um, a folder of a spring object so I can place this path and let the import wizard to identify the folder of the project I want to import I can specify that I want to copy the project into the workspace if interested and then pressing finish we get the project in the STS well if you get a um, compilation error um, most likely it is because uh, the STS can't find specific classes you use in your code uh, in this code sample I try to use classes coming from uh, those packages so I just need to update the build path I select the project right click and select um, build path configure build path and here I can find the tab libraries so I can add external jars uh, before you move forward let's take it to the lower part of the screen so we can easily find the required jars well add external jar and uh, we can find within the spring source folder the STS folder and here we can find plugins folder and here we can find jar files so we can find the one we need uh, we can expect it to start with org um, so we can find here the uh, org spring framework dot beans This is the first we, we need. Let's import. Uh, another one is one that includes this package, so we can expect it to be a jar file that its name starts with co with org org dot spring framework dot core this is the second one um, okay so now we don't have any compilation error uh, it might be required to add more uh, jar files because when we execute the, this code a code that use classes from these packages maybe the classes inside these packages uh, use other classes that currently are not available so we shall know that only when we execute the code itself so let's give it a try I select the project I want to execute uh, run as run configuration I specify the name of the class I want to execute this is a simple standalone application so I just type Java application uh, this is the configuration, uh, this is the project, the name of the class is main class apply and let's execute well we 
shall see. Okay, we have a problem. Uh, a very specific class known. Over here we can find, we can see that um, we get a class not found exception, meaning that a very specific class required was not found. Um, well, in this case, it simply didn't find the main class. Uh, let's check again the configuration. Okay. Um, this is a project. We are dealing with a standalone application. Let's try the search button to make it more uh, specific. Okay. So was another mistake I didn't write down uh, the full qualified name of the class typo okay let's try again and see if there are any additional yeah we have more problems another class is not found um, the class is a class known as log factory that belongs to org apache dot commons dot logging okay let's add the required jar build path we can select this shortcut or go through the classic wizard I prefer the classic wizard this way I know exactly what happens okay so this is the Java build path and now I want to add um, another external jar uh, from the same folder I should find org apache commons here it is um, okay we have commons logging we have just common.net we need the common commons logging open okay and now let's execute yeah this is it this is the outcome of this uh, specific code sample